this story is on behalf of my friend. He was too scared to send it in because he's scared someone might find him. This story took place in 2020 in Seoul, South Korea. My name is Asahi for the time being, and I went to live in Korea with my wife, or at least that's what we were planning on. In the first few months of living there, I started working as a police officer. I got along with the other officers very well. I had a best friend named Yeon Ji who was very superior to the rest of us. I was told that he resolved 21 crimes in just 6 months by himself. He was like an older brother to all of us. I realized he had missing pinky fingers, but I brushed it off thinking it was just a disability. A year later, during September 2021, Yeon Ji retired as a police officer. I thought to myself that he had just found a better job or just wanted to live a life normally, but that wasn't the case. A month later, December 2021, me and a few other police officers were having a party to celebrate one of our senior sergeant's birthday. After drinking a lot, I was watching TV upstairs away from the others. There was a news broadcast and the news reporter said in Korean, 24 year old criminal Yeon Ji Sung is reported on the loose after conflict between two rival gangs. If you see this man, please report immediately. Of course I didn't believe what was going on. Honestly I thought I was just too drunk to think straight, but all that changed in just a few hours. As time went past, it was approximately 2.30 am and everyone was gassed out. It was then until I heard knocking from the front door. I couldn't be bothered to answer it, so one of the other officers opened it. A gunshot went off. All of us instantly woke up to it. As I looked towards the door, I saw the officer who opened the door, dripping with blood. As my vision became clearer, I saw a man around 6 foot 7 inches standing at the door. Of course, it may sound stupid, but all of us ran towards him. The man dropped his gun and judo threw one of the officers. He then began to beat the shit out of all of us. It was an unfair fight. I'd say it was about 1 versus 17. I could tell the man was trained in some sort of martial art. One of the other officers grabbed a bottle of beer and smashed it on his head. I was going to try and take him down, but then he put me in some sort of jujitsu choke. I was out cold. I woke up on a hospital bed with my wife next to me. What happened? I said to myself. My wife then began to tell me everything. It was said that the man who attacked me yesterday was Yeon Ji, my own best friend. My wife also mentioned that Yeon Ji was a former Yakuza member who was caught for drug dealing in Japan. He then smuggled onto a boat to Korea. It was at that moment that I realized why he had missing pinky fingers. I was told that some Yakuza members that commit serious offenses must atone by cutting their pinkies off. This was known as Yubitsume, and apparently his name, Yeon Jing Sung, was just an alias so that he wouldn't be caught. Although none of us found out his real name, we found out about his life before being a Yakuza. We were told that he was a good martial artist who was a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu, Taekwondo, and Judo. 2022, after this encounter, my wife and I moved back to the US. I farewelled my fellow police officers and asked them to keep safe. Even to this day, I wonder how Yeonji is going.